Hello everybody, welcome to Nigo Terra Odyssey. I hope you all are doing well and I want to offer my sincere thanks for all your likes and subscribes and all your beautiful comments. You guys, there now there was like a couple videos where there were hundreds of comments on a couple of them. So um I'm gonna take this weekend to read over them at night. You know, I read a few dozen of them, but to reply to the ones that you know I have time for and definitely read all of them because it's something that um is very important to me. You guys are reaching these great growth potentials and recognizing all this beauty and magic that's all around you. So I love to share your experiences with you. I'm just going to straighten the camera a little bit. So um, I will be replying to those because it's very important to me how you like the subject matter, um, how, you know, um, you respond to the videos and all of that. So I'll get to those. But um, whenever I read, you know, a couple dozen before better when I wake up, I just feel like my heart is lifted and I know I'm on my right path purpose and really connecting and, you know, hitting some topics that are true to your heart and that are helpful to you and, you know, help you endure through tough times because that's really what this is all about. Um, I definitely believe in being able to predict certain things and be able to read the signs, the clues, and the synchronicities, but we also need to um, give each other resources and the tools to work with to um, navigate these tricky waters, whether they're in relationships, self-growth, um, a big thing big issue right now that a lot of people go through is just these doubting phases in relationships. So today's read, I really want to do a read on what are their true intentions? What are their real feelings? You know, if it's a relationship, a situationship, a new um, meeting where you guys have just gotten together and you're wondering where their mindset is and what they're thinking about and all of that, we're really going to tap into that because oftentimes we see everything through super rose colored glasses in the beginning, right? The endorphins are flowing. We're always hoping for the best. So let's sort of kind of navigate this and see what's going on and anything that pops in through um, the read I will definitely bring up and I'm going to be using a couple of fun new decks to the magical messages of the fairies which I absolutely love I'm going to be using my um, crow tarot that was from cherry that I absolutely love and adore and um, I'm using some great other tools so we're going to begin and we have I just like the visuals in this and also the subtle messages so we have the first one is Eclipse in Pisces this is about free will serve your higher purpose and number two is Moon in Taurus personal growth a lot of people are going through this wonderful um, growth and I this moon just reminded me there's a full moon on the 13th so um, if you guys want to sign up for a personal full moon read I still have a few spots available just you know when you go over to PayPal or email, just say, uh, Melanie, do you have spots for the full moon read? And I, I get back to people that email me within the hour. I always have a device on me because I really like to be able to harness that intense energy because this is a hunter moon, like total Artemis time. Everybody is out in this personal growth mode to get the acclaim, get the things that is due them, not on an ego um ride or anything like that it's like they just know this creative force is within them this loving force so they're really reaching out and they're hunting for their special one they're hunting for this creative streak they're hunting for you know this beautiful golden chalice that holds the promise of all their potential because they're walking through these opening doors now and they're proud of themselves and it is a big part is personal growth not coming from an ego mindset not coming from a lack um just noticing all the potentialities that exist all the time when we have our eyes open to it, like I was talking about this morning, that, you know, success and failure is something we decipher for ourselves personally. It's a very personal journey for one person, you know, making so much a year can be a huge success to other people where money is more important. It's not. And, um, and in my equation, I always feel like that should be on the bottom rung. The top rung should definitely be our awareness of what's going on with our behaviors, our mental health, our spiritual growth, how we conduct ourselves and affect others in our energetic um, exchanges, right? Do you leave a place better than you found it? That's huge with this personal growth. So again, if you need a personal read and you want to sign up, I, I believe that date falls on Sunday. Um, just email me. All my links are down below. And number three is the moon in Virgo. The chance to boost health and vitality leads to satisfaction. This can be everything, mental health, physical health. But obviously, when we're moving and grooving and our chi is flowing, we have stronger mental health, right? Our acuity is much more in line with who we are and our thinking. A lot of stagnancy. Just think of people if you were locked 
locked in an office and you were forced to work for like an entire week and you slept there and you lived there, there would be this stagnancy, there would be this lack of growth because there's a lack of fresh air and oxygen and new experiences. This is about really going out and, you know, grasping for that um, big gust of oxygen, deep breathing, yoga, being outside, being by bodies of water, being in forest, being in things that enrich us spiritually and ground us out, right? And that is not too many devices. That is not too much television watching. That isn't any of that. That's eating while exercising and participating in things that bring us joy experiences. This is time to experience things. I mean, I cannot um, explain enough how mentally stimulating is to do something entirely new that we haven't done before. Go to a new place, just eating at a new restaurant. It doesn't take great physical effort. Doing something where a memory will then fall in place think about vacations, how strongly they're embedded in our mind because it's a new experience. It's a new place. All of that. I still see the sights, flavors, and sounds of Jamaica where Ian and I went a couple of times. I remember the dock we walked down. I remember the lighting. I remember the groove of the music, all of that. Um, the jerk chicken and the smells and just how wonderful everything was there because it was a new experience. And that's why our, our mind craves that. Our mental health, um, our spirit really likes to connect with new things because it's such a vast world. So we're going to begin with number one, which is serve your higher purpose. And we're going to see, first I'm going to pull one of these, you know, we're going to see sort of where they're at. So this is really nice. Right now, this particular other is focusing on their home and love. So I love that this is sun and cancer because this is about, you know, still waters running deep. They may not express right away everything they're feeling, but they want to focus on love. They want to focus on that expansion, that connective. Cancers are very um, sensitive to a lot of things. So again, um, it is that energy when and there's newness to it. Um, what happens is there's high sensitivity. People are afraid of critical judgment. They're afraid of doing something wrong. That's why everybody's consistently putting their best foot forward in all of that. And let's see what else is going on. Give these a shuffle. So this is saying, admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire. So ask yourself in all honesty, do you feel like this is a nice match? Do you feel like you're getting the respect, um, the, the commitment? If it's new, I mean committed awareness when you're together. I mean, nobody should start stamping and labeling any new relationships or relationships or pushing for labels or dates or any of that because it takes the romance, the lightness, and the spontaneity out of it. But be honest with yourself. What is the compatibility, the pros and cons? Do you agree more often with their kind of um, outlook on life, on anything, religion, politics, spirituality, whatever it is? And I mean, we should always feel free to have different opinions in life. But I mean, is there a harshness aspect? Is there a judgment, a critical? Is there a holier than thou attitude, all of that? Just be honest with yourself. What do you truly think and take time to think about that and tap into that energy? So we also have the temptation card. Are you in denial about unhealthy habits? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. The fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever it's guys. Do you over romanticize? I'm feeling is a question. Are you wearing rose colored glasses and seeing something that might not be there? Are you avoiding the snake in the garden that might be, um, whether this person isn't truly authentic, are they showboaty or are they ego driven, all of that. But where we're going to get our, some of our true determinants is going to be in the tarot because oop, this just popped out. Okay. So this is saying that they have a choice. This individual, they choose sometimes to live in a defensive pros of the past. They've obviously had their heart, had some pain inflicted on it. But what's happening is it's kind of souring the grapes because they're a little hung up on this. So what is needed in this is just all hands down honesty, like what is going on? What what are your intentions? So you, because I feel like you're, you might see a little bit of pulling back um, and trouble committing or spending more actual physical time with you than texting and stuff like that. They have, you know, it's that once bit and twice shy. They do, they have tried to eradicate looking in the past and feeling this, but they do have high skepticism. So they really want to be able to trust you. But this is really beautiful following that, the high priestess energy. They feel like you're really connected to your spirituality. You are an authentic person. You're really grounded. Their true feelings are that you are a trustworthy, um, basically like lighter being, which is, you know, a higher frequency vibration person who tells the truth. They feel that you're dependable, you're honest, and you're someone who's worth investing their time in. The high priestess card is definitely tantamount to somebody being a bit on a, placing you a bit on a pedestal going, wow, you know, you're very earthy and grounded, but very spiritual. You, you have very concise 
important um, higher vibrational views on the world that we are connected that energy that clarity that you're not um, you're not skeptical you're not low vibrational gossip all of that that you want to talk about adventures you want to talk about spirituality you want to talk about growth and they really admire that that's very very important to them as opposed to somebody who just wants to talk um talk about petty things now i love this so they feel that you are very um abundant in so many things not only you're solidly grounded but they see a future with this this 10 is working towards a you know the pinnacle which is like what they aim for i mean i feel like in some ways they kind of envy you they envy you your free spirit your heart i feel like you have a lot of light worker abilities and they notice that about you that you're light and buoyant and you're always trying to look into the positive and also you're not one of those people that get caught in the the um the the public current like if everybody just says and does one thing you don't care about that you have your own very original viewpoint on things and you take things as they come and you're very fluid and you go with the flow however you definitely do have a higher vantage point you do let you do um participate in things judgment free and they really really admire that about you because that's kind of like where they want to be in life so they do have this kind of envy of your beautiful light spirit they also yeah see they they feel like that this is something that they've spent time with you almost like you're an older soul and that you have a lot to teach them you know they have a lot of pride when they're out with you because they feel like your perspective is way up here your viewpoint the kind of person you are they see this can be very long term because i love tens that's like see, look at the you know the tens is like just seeing things through long viewpoints really pushing through and and you being able to also kind of mend their skepticism and broken heart because again i heard this thing today that says people choose to live in the three of swords moment are can create that reality for themselves they can create heartache after heartache after heartache because they expect it whatever we expect and we put our focus on is where we draw the energy right but they feel like you're helping them break through that karmic kind of um, weird cycle of getting their heart broken over and over and the reason that happened is they do expect it they got hurt one or twice so they lived in this intense fear and they just feel like you're someone that's going to help them break out of that because you're really together and it's something else that i'm hearing that's really nice is you know they're going to want you sometime soon that's going to be a huge indicator to meet their family and that's a huge sign he sees you as a woman or she sees you as a man who takes them away from boring reality and you're and he wants he or she wants you to meet their closest people not only because um, they're special to him but because you are special to him or or her whomever and they want you to get to know their family and they feel like there'll be high compatibility there'll be you know a lot of people getting on and and treating really well and also because you know they they're so proud of the kind of person that you are that it's like almost like showing you off right and you'll find very shortly that you become their priority you know this is sort of like the top the top of the wheel priority where your priorities that you are their priority i really love that so i want to pull one more card so the motivation card so when spring approaches the flower fairies urge you to spring into action if there's something you've been thinking about doing then go do this so this is a, this is just a beautiful oracle motivator saying you know do you have something that you've been putting on um the back burner this person can work as a very strong catalyst to help you reach that goal somebody to bounce the ideas off and they'll be enriching smart dialogue with this person as opposed to what are you crazy kind of thing you know there's some people that you raise your hopes and dreams to and they're very supportive and wow let's expand on that they are one of those people because they believe highly in your ideas and respect your ideas so they're going to motivate you in new directions where you're going to become very successful so i love that energy that is really terrific energy group one i didn't know how this reading would come out as soon as this idea came up i was like oh i don't i'm like should i have some oracle and i was like just go with the flow and do whatever comes and and that was really you know that really spoke loudly to me that you know this person is going to help influence you in the best and you're going to help them with their broken heart so very beautiful energy again if you want to take advantage of the full moon read the full moon is on the 13th and that is a hunter moon it's a great go after what you want a great motivational moon um just email me and i'm going to be you know i'll probably do like five um 
five or six on that specific day. So you can just connect with me on that. So beautiful. Yeah, you're serving your higher purpose right now. You're going to elevate beautiful, beautiful energy group one. So group two is personal growth. Again, it is definitely time for that. I want you guys to start a manifestation list of what you'd like. Actually write it down. It'll be really, really wonderful. So let's just start with an indicator of protect your dreams. So we're now on group two. So you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they're safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. So I, this is also an indicator that I feel that this person is going to want to share your dreams with them. I feel like they are a dreamer, but they're also very intelligent and they know how to implement things in the 3D and get them going. They're highly motivated. And I feel like that um, they create good structures and good foundations about everything, good work ethic. They know how to delegate their time wisely and all of that. And they're going to want to share their dreams with you because they feel you're very, very trustworthy too. So also in this, they are feeling that it's perfect timing, that this is the right time for them to move forward commitment wise to just make a simple decision that you're the one they want to spend time with. I usually feel that on a first or second date, even after you go out with somebody, you know, if they're the one you want to spend time with, right? You get to know them. If you're having conversations and you're having an exchange of energy, you just know, you know, if somebody, and, and the cool thing about that is you just decide, okay, I want to delegate this amount of time and effort towards this. And it either elevates and it's a match or it isn't. It's that type of thing. So you'll find that they want to connect more and spend more time because they're really coming to the conclusion that you're the one they want to spend time with. And, you know, it'll be nice because you'll be getting, oh, let's do this and let's do that together and you'll be game because I feel like they're going to show you the attention that you deserve as well. So abundance, prepare yourself for incoming abundance, release any mental blocks that you may have. Fairyland and human land, there's enough abundance for everyone. This is saying too, when you elevate and you're feeling um, prosperous and you're feeling happy, I feel like when the, you know, the love bug bites, everybody feels abundance. They have endorphins. They feel good. They feel the possibilities. You've seen it in every kind of Disney film and film. When you meet that one specific person, anything is possible because if this beautiful, unique, human being is possible. Therefore, so is abundance. So is wealth. So is creativity. So is everything that you're looking forward to. And they feel like that when they're around you, they feel like there are endless possibilities in the world. I really love that. So they also have an emotional phase or domestic development. So part of this is, again, I think that they may want you to meet their immediate family if you haven't already, or spend more time with their family because they're feeling more domestic around you. They don't feel like they definitely have to go out and have outside influences, that you're more than enough just being with you. And they actually don't want to share you all the time. So besides sharing you with their family and immediate friends, they want you to themselves. They don't want big social gatherings where um, your attention may be divided. As you can see the hands right there, they want they want to be your priority, which means they are getting all the attention and vice versa. So you'll just find these little things are where, where they're like, oh, let's just hang in, you know, and it's not about being any specific way. So I'm going to just lay out the three and then we'll see, give these a shuffle and see what's going on. Whoa, this is crazy. These are some, yeah, see you're this, this means absolutely, you know, they feel that you are the one there's magic around you. There's this beautiful abundance. There's this lovely feeling of connectivity. I've lost, I just dropped half my deck. There we go. I'm like, I get a little too vigorous shuffling and stuff gets a little crazy. Wow. So this is really beautiful. Yeah. See how they're feeling currently about you is that you have strength. This relationship has a strength to go the long route. There's a lot of familiarity. There is a lot of compatibility and it's just building strength to strength. They also see you as the queen of cups of, of this beautiful, just everything type of person where it's like at the total package where you're wonderful with other people you're caring giving and loving the queen of cups has it all the emotional the mental the spiritual balance all of that you know not high strong not high maintenance is ready to provide for others as well as herself cares for herself but also knows how to care for her family her flock and people around them and they also feel like you know this is a new fresh start you're like something they've never seen or ever experienced aces are like a gift from the gods like they put you together in their dream image like hey let's go in the lab and build the perfect man or woman and boom there you are like they can't believe their good luck and now they're feeling stronger they're feeling better they feel like this relationship has a good strong foundation that it's authentic that it originates from a pure beautiful soul connection the energy exchange is bright and beautiful and super powerful and they want to see it through and they want to plan they'll be talking about the future more and more you'll see you'll be made of priority for sure 
um, you'll, you'll just hear him or her talking in the future quite often and you'll be part of that scenario which is very beautiful energy group too I love that for you so if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and if you want to take Sunday as the full moon I believe yeah it's the 13th and I still have a few spots left if you want to sign up for that I do the reading rate on that Sunday and then I upload and usually have it to you on that Sunday or the Monday morning if I have a lot of uploads so um, you can come on over for that as well I really love this because again the hunter's moon is very very voracious and tenacious and get what you want that hunter moon of let's go Artemis let's go out on the hunt and really pull in all these dreams that we've been trying to manifest in love in um, professional life in um, everything creativity really really beautiful powerful energy so now we're on to the moon in Virgo which is the chance to boost your health and vitality and it, it does lead to satisfaction because if you know we're in pain or we're stagnating or we're not doing things that are creating good health mental health spiritual health and physical health we can have some problems right so let's see what is going on wow so you got the love life the basis of your question involves your romantic life which is now changing for the better so this significant other that that we're inquiring about actually feels like this they feel like they've turned some kind of corner and met like this magical creature that you know here too was unknown like they just can't believe how you express yourself it's very quirky it's very unique um i feel like you're you have very cool dialogue and instead of talking about low vibrational things and gossiping and stuff like that you're talking about the world you're talking about spirituality you're talking about things that really matter and you're generating a lot of um future interest in the relationship because of that so we also have eclipse and aries so boost relationships through teamwork and compromise i feel like too they're going to make you much more of their agenda and their time and clear their space because they do want to make you a priority they feel very lucky having met you and they feel the compatibility and the connection and you also have the shine within card so right now you are shining you know looks are only skin deep but true beauty is from within and it's time for you to shine and i feel like you really are so have a lot of self-acceptance and reveal your true beauty because they're absolutely happy and smitten with who you are what you are what you have to say and you are very effervescent and you know you're very um, optimistic and they love that because I feel like in the past they were around this kind of lower vibrational Debbie Downers where people thought they were so clever because they could you know go on and on and and like it's almost like um those people where they act like nothing impresses them so they can try to seem impressive but they're not they're just irritating and a lot of millennials can be like that like oh this would be all right if this was you know they always think that they can better something instead of just enriching the situation by having gratitude and they're so happy that you're like that it's like a total change of scene and they are literally in awe of how good they feel and the direction it's going again you know them wanting to initiate a um a meeting with their family and spending more time with their family wow so you have the knight of pentacles the ace of wands the other group just had an ace too yeah see this is just a gift a new start a new beginning i can't even believe this is happening look at that with the doubles this is insane so let's just begin over here so this is a real um this is a real authentic you're going to have an offer of like substantiating the relationship to the next level where all of a sudden it's exclusive like right away off the bat almost because they just choose you they this double aces is just saying you know this is a supreme love offer this is filled with passion just all of a sudden something clicked and you just know i mean sometimes it's that first date you meet with somebody you have a conversation it's the exchange of what's not even being said of that energy and that connection and that's it in fact when ian and i met it was like we were together from then on and we spent almost you know every day and night and all this time together and it was just one of those things where you know there's high compatibility you don't want to be with anybody else so why play games and why go off and why pretend like you know that was in the era of cell phones either where you're like text somebody and then ghost them for days it's like this is this person's not going to play games it's going to be very leveled up and mature and it's going to be you know this is very um i almost said supernatural this is very um super soulmate level kind of stuff like that energy where just the right answers just the right interactions just the right paths get taken to lead you to this very beautiful um aligned connection which you, you know there aren't any games being played there you know there isn't um deflection projection and any garbage in this this is just pure you know this is my authentic original self this is what i have to offer and 
boom, they are the exact same way. And it just is just lovely. You know, it's just like here, what, and it's almost like you can't do enough for each other. Like you're constantly thinking about them and them, you, if they're in a shop or there's someone, they're like, oh, he would love that. She would love that. Oh, let's do that. And just the plans will always include you in their mind. I mean, their intentions are so true towards you that you are continually in their thing. They're already planning future vacations and on things like that. Like you are definitely tucked into that tribe pocket. Like they don't want to do things without you because you are this special, unique person. They can't even believe they were gifted with, you know what I mean? And they just think, woo, like they won the lotto big time. So that is super beautiful energy group three. I love that for you. So gorgeous. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. And all my links are down below. Again, the full moon is on Sunday the 13th and I still have a few places available to do it on that day for people. So if you want to email me, be just like, hey Mel, do you have any spots left? And then, um, you send me your questions. We'll get everything moving along that and get very specifics on this. Because oftentimes newness, even if it's like six months when it's like within that parameter, everybody feels like so hypercritical of themselves that sometimes, you know, they're not... Um, they're not seeing the big picture. They're not aware of all these clues that the other person is just in deep, deep love with them that just, you know, because they're so busy trying to, um, be this perfect version of themselves when just be you and be natural. So you can be aware of the synchronicities, the clues, the connection, and have that emotional intelligence to gauge the waters. You know, oftentimes it was like that thing that I used to say where, don't try to be interesting. Try to be interested because we learn a lot more like that. We learn about their lives, what's going on, what their true intentions are, what they're thinking, because we're really tapped into that. And it's, this is beautiful. I mean, this is very profound and deep and lovely. So I love that for you. So I'm very excited. I'm going to go upload for y'all.